Hi guys, it's Adria, and for today's video, I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about something that really kind of hit me lately, and that is how short life is. Um, nothing bad happened, nothing bad happened, so don't be like, oh my gosh, what happened? But do you ever have those moments where something really just gets put into perspective for you? Like, you really see how something is. That happened to me. So as you guys know, I recently got engaged, okay. So I feel like it's all I talk about, so I don't really wanna bring it up in every video, but um, as you may or may not know, maybe you're new here, maybe you're not, but I recently got engaged and that weekend really put life into perspective for me for how quickly time flies. It feels like just yesterday, that I just met Brandon for the first time, like I just flew to Florida to meet him, you know, we were long distance for a few months and I remember it like it was yesterday and this summer it'll be three years since that has happened and I cannot believe how quickly time flies. So I, I started crying about it too, I was just kind of laying in bed and like just thinking about how much has changed in the past three years for me and how life just doesn't seem to slow down and that can be really kind of depressing you can just look at it like oh my gosh like I'm so old so much time has passed so much has changed life isn't the same and it was kind of one of those moments for me where it was kind of upsetting where you feel like oh my gosh I don't ever want to get old I don't want time to keep moving I don't want to get older with getting engaged obviously you're gonna get married so I'm thinking about you know being with Brandon forever and the concept of forever and I'm thinking to myself forever doesn't feel like long enough and I feel like that's I feel like that's a train song lyric like forever could never be long enough with you or something like that it's true like you think about the people in your life that you love and how even if you had an eternity with them it doesn't feel like it would be adequate time for how much you care about them and how much you love them and I mean even with living far away from my family I think it's been like two and a half years that I've lived um, out of state from my family you know when holidays come and when birthdays come I think about I feel like I'm wasting time the concept of wasting time is something that I just hate when it would be like my Nana's birthday and I wasn't there or it was like Thanksgiving or Mother's Day or you know anything like that it makes me feel like wow like I feel like I'm wasting time I guess I just want to give a little bit of a life lesson to you guys at how incredibly fast time moves. I could not wait to grow up as a kid. I couldn't wait. I wanted to be able to make my own decisions, go wherever I want, buy whatever I want. So much changes and I remember wanting to be an adult so bad and now I'm an adult and it sucks. And you can never go back to being a kid. You can't. So if you are a young person, if you are still in school, if you're a teenager, although I'm, you know, I'm only 22 so I can't be like, listen children, but especially if you're still in school just enjoy it enjoy it because you may think oh I can't wait to move out of my parents house oh I can't wait to graduate oh I can't wait to be an adult it comes faster than you think and it comes before you're ready for it because I'm still like how do I adult I don't know listen I wish I could go back to the days of <laughs> school even though I didn't really particularly do that well in school for you know emotional reasons but I just kind of wish that I had embraced my younger years a bit more I wish I had gotten more out of them for myself I wish I would have just appreciated it more rather than wishing the time away because I feel like I spent so much time wishing time away even when like a holiday is coming like Christmas for instance Christmas was the one holiday that I just could not wait for like a lot of kids and I just remember wishing for it like oh my gosh I can't wait till Christmas and then it comes and then it's done so my mom taught me she was like don't don't wish for Christmas to come don't wish for it. she's like just enjoy each day and just wait patiently for it because you know when you learn patience and learn to just enjoy things in the present moment you get so much more out of life because I, I've started to stop wishing things to come sooner because then they come and you're like whoa you think you want something but then it happens faster than you would think and then it's just like whoa I don't know if I was ready for this adulthood 
you know? This past weekend, it's a bit in the future when you're seeing this, but this past weekend was Memorial Day weekend, and it was the weekend that Brandon and I got engaged, and it was a four-day weekend. You know, we went to the beach for two days, and it was a really, really good weekend. And that's where this whole video idea came from, where, where time just flies. But this weekend went by so slowly, and I remember feeling so grateful for how slow it felt the weekend was going. Because Brandon and I, we were at a restaurant on the boardwalk at the beach. We hadn't looked at the clock in hours. You know, we were at the beach, we were in the water having fun. Then we're like, oh, let's go eat. We hadn't really looked at the clock or paid attention to it. And Brandon's like, oh, it's probably like 7 o'clock. I'm like, no, no, it's probably like 5. We look at the clock, it's only 3.30 in the afternoon. And we both just like, our faces lit up. We could not believe how early it was. And it seemed like time almost stood still for us to enjoy that weekend and just have fun and not really worry about anything because when time is going by really fast, you kind of feel like you have to cram everything in at once, but it made the weekend feel a lot more relaxed. I'm one of those people that after something really good happens, you know, like, oh, you have a great weekend or, you know, like it's Christmas break. I'm the person that always gets super depressed after something like that is over. I even remember when I was in fourth grade, my family, we took like a family vacation for like a week at the beach. And I just, like, I had so much fun. And I remember coming home from the beach. I remember that day just crying all day because I was so sad that it was over, that I had to go back to school, that the vacation was over. What I've learned is to just get the most out of every single day, whether it's a thrilling day or not. Why was I wishing time away? What was I thinking? Why didn't I enjoy that more? Because we always say, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to graduate. I can't wait to be out of school. I can't wait to move out. I can't wait to do this. I and then it all starts happening and your your mind has to catch up. You're just like, what? I remember being like 10 years old and not even being able to imagine myself as an adult. I remember thinking like, I wonder what I'll look like as an adult. I remember thinking like, whoa, in 10 years I'll be 20. I remember thinking that concept was crazy. And now I'm 22, almost 23. Time goes by so fast, you guys. And I, I was thinking a lot about this too, where people, I feel like people are afraid to admit that they regret something. If somebody asks you like, do you have any regrets in life? If you were like, yeah, I do. People would see that as a bad thing. Like, whoa, you shouldn't regret anything in life. But I'm one of those people, I will probably always say this. And if I ever, if I ever change, I don't know. But I used to say I had no regrets just because it's kind of the thing to say. Everybody says that just because it makes life sound more positive. But I think more realistically, by saying you have regrets in life, it means you've learned something. If you're a kid and you touch the hot stove that mommy told you not to touch, and if you don't regret it, have you really learned anything? So every experience in life, learn something from it. If it was a bad experience or a bad choice you made, it's okay to regret it. It's okay to be like, wow, I kind of messed up there. I wish I hadn't done that. That will help you to make better decisions for the future. Because if you live your life saying, no, I don't regret that. No, I don't regret that. You won't learn anything and you won't grow and you won't move forward. I kind of hate that whole no regrets thing. Like, you know, because I don't think that that's a realistic approach to life. I think it's important to be like, yeah, I regret this so that you don't make the same mistake again. One of my biggest regrets when I was thinking about making this video, I'm like, what do I really regret in life? And one of the things that really comes to mind is that I didn't join any clubs or sports or like any kind of extracurricular activities when I was in high school or middle school. I hadn't really thought about it before, but you know, my brother, he was in Christian club, he did ice hockey. My sisters, they were in anime club and they did chorus and I didn't do anything. So that's one thing that really sticks out in my mind of something that I wish if I could turn back time, that is what I would change because I don't know, I wish I had embraced my younger years a bit more because I remember my mom saying like, these are supposed to be the best years of your life and I can totally see that now. Back then, I thought that sounded crazy. So if your mom or dad says that to you, like these are supposed to be the best years of your life, take it from somebody who is in their 20s, those are the best years of your life. And I feel like even now, like these, could still be the best years of mine. So, I mean, just enjoy it. And if there's something that you want to do, like if you want to go play a sport or you want to join a club or you want to be in the musical, do it. Because I didn't do it and it stuck with me. 
and I wish I had done it. And you know, a lot of my school life was really just doing the bare minimum just to graduate, just to pass, just to get through it. Like even going to school, even getting to school every day was an accomplishment. So I wish that I could have enjoyed it more and I wish I could have been more of a young kid. I wish I could have just had fun and you know, but a lot of school was just stressful. So if you're in a similar situation, like maybe you have anxiety or anything like that, maybe school is just a struggle for you, maybe you have bad grades, I don't know, maybe you just have trouble paying attention, maybe school is just not pleasant for you, I would just say that one day you'll you'll be graduated out of school and you know it's now been four years since I've graduated which I cannot believe it feels like yesterday but you know you'll be 22 like old Adrian here and you'll miss it I never 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 thought I would say I miss school ever but I do. I thought life was complicated then, it only gets more complicated. So if you can learn to enjoy school and being a teenager and just kind of living life and not wishing time away and just enjoying it, you will be a much happier old adult when you turn 22. <laughs> because I, I wish I knew than what I know now, that one day I would miss those days. And as you get older, time feels like it just goes by even faster. So just enjoy being young and just learn to appreciate everything for what it is, whether it's a really good thing or maybe something that kind of sucks. Just learn to take it for what it is because things that I thought really sucked back then really don't seem like that big of a deal to me now. You know, there were things that at the time I was like, oh my gosh, like like if I would get my period on my pants at school, I would think that was the end of the world. But now looking back at that, it's amusing to me and it's funny. Things like that stick in your mind and they make memories. And you know, life is about creating memories and everything is sculpting your character. Every little thing you have ever been through sculpts the person that you are. Every event, every person, every day, it molds you into the person that you are. And I, I've seen this quote before, like, I don't think life is about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. That's so true. I mean, you may think you have it all figured out, but trust me, you are gonna constantly keep changing. You always change. I look back at some of my old videos, I feel like a completely different person now. You constantly mature and you grow and you learn to like new things and you dislike things you used to like. Everything changes. And I was always so afraid of change, but I always wanted it. It's so weird. Like, I always wanted my life to drastically change, but I was afraid of change. Like, I always wished that my life would be different. Like, oh, I just, I just want to grow up. I just want to do this and have this and go here and be this. And But at the same time, I was afraid of change happening. So then when life would start to change, it would scare me. So then it's like, you know, what do I want? You kind of have that realization that you don't, you don't want things to change as much as you may think. And that's what I realized, you know, I used to think I wanted to grow up like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to be an adult. But you have to be careful what you wish for. I hope I have made some kind of a valid point here. I kind of just felt like sharing some thoughts I had and just kind of, um, you know, like a little bit of a life lesson to really appreciate everything that you have in your life at the time being. And even if life isn't ideal for you, you may look back at that point in your life and realize how much you really did like it because I find myself doing that a lot. I look back at points in my life that I thought were terrible and I find myself missing them. Things might not always be as bad as you may think. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on things like this, like wishing time away and how fast time flies and how quickly life changes, good or bad. The past few weeks have really brought a lot of change into my life. I reached 100,000 subscribers. I got engaged, you know, things I never thought would happen life changes really fast. So let me know your thoughts on that and learning to appreciate the present. And if any of this was helpful to you, you know, maybe I said something that really resonated with you. So definitely let me know. And also be sure to subscribe down below if you're not already. I put out videos three times a week. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, Panda Hugs, I love you guys. Bye!